So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Wireshark to spot an ARP poison attack on the network. So stick around. Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So if you already saw the previous video in this little mini series we're doing on man in the middle attacks, uh, I showed you how to do an ARP poison attack with EtherCap. We went and captured that with Wireshark, and then I showed you how EtherCap actually sends that ARP, unsolicited ARP reply in both directions to those target devices. But what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how, if you happen to see that kind of behavior on the network, how could you capture it with Wireshark? And better yet, how could you set a filter to be able to spot it quickly? So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so now I'm on the Windows 10 box and we're gonna go ahead and capture from that vantage point. So how would that look? How can we catch it in Wireshark? All right, so I do have some traffic being captured by Wireshark. I actually have an ARP filter right here while I'm actively capturing, which is kind of an interesting thing to do. If there's something specific you're looking for, you can apply that filter and then you can run Wireshark and just watch for it to come in. Okay, so I see that I've got a couple ARPs already and thankfully one's from my gateway so I can see what the true gateway MAC address is, this 3500. But now I'm going to go over to the man in the middle. All right, so some hacker comes on my network some kind of way, and he goes ahead and starts a man in the middle. So let's go ahead and start that. I'm going to come up to my ARP poisoning, and I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So here on the window side, we can see that the gateway, quote unquote, which is really the man in the middle, is advertising that 5372 address. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop my capture. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we captured. All right, so first thing I can notice that I have my legitimate ARP here. And this came from the gateway, tell 2.15, which is me. And here I can see 3500. But then I see these unsolicited ARP, let's click one of them, replies come in. I'm going to open up the ARP part and I'm going to come down there to the details and unsolicited ARP reply. Now, thankfully, because I had already captured a legitimate ARP reply from the gateway up above, Wireshark can tell me that, wait a second, there's been a change here. There's going to be a dupe IP address detected for 2.1. I'm seeing two MAC addresses for this one IP. So since that's the case, I can go ahead and use this as a filter. I can just expand this out. I can come down to expert info, dupe IP address configured. Or if we look down at the bottom, arp.duplicate-address-detected. Right click that guy. I'm going to prepare a filter. And I'm going to come up and just say selected. Okay, great. Now that will show me all the bad ARPs, but that's only going to work if I already have captured one of the ARPs from the gateway, one of the legitimate ones. Well, what if I hadn't captured that one? So my goal would be to build a filter that will flag any ARPs coming from the gateway's IP address that are not the gateway's MAC address. That's going to be our goal. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, just because this is just my obsessive compulsive <laughs> rising up a little bit, I'm going to come down to profile and you see I'm on default. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, hopefully you guys have done this at this point, but if you haven't, go ahead and join me. What I did is just right click over profile and I'm going to go to new and I'm just going to create a new profile. I'm just going to call it security. So now when we create specific filters, like the one we're about to build, we can save it under that profile and we can go ahead and grab it anytime we want. So I'm going to say, okay. All right. So now we're under our security profile. All right. So again, our goal is to build a filter that will catch all ARP replies that are acting like our gateway, but are under a different MAC address. Okay. So think about that statement. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the ARP duplicate ad address detected, and I'm going to stay right there on packet 160. Make sure I click that. I'm going to remove this filter. Let's back it up. Okay. So what's my goal here? First of all, I'm going to come down to my ARP details. I want to catch any ARP coming from 1002.1. That is my gateway's IP. Okay. So I'm going to come up to prepare as filter. So I'm going to say selected. Nice thing about prepare as filter is it doesn't yet apply it. It lets me see it, make adjustments, make any additions. And then after I'm done building the filter, then I can apply the whole thing. All right. So this is going to be any ARP source from 1002.1 and it's also going to be a reply all right so let's just right click and we're going to come up to prepare as filter and we're going to say and selected so i want to catch all packets that are advertised from 2.1 that are our replies but here's the catch i only want to capture the ones that are not from the legitimate gateway 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that original ARP from the gateway, and I'm going to add his MAC address as the, the address that I don't want to focus on. So I'm going to go up and find the ARP from the gateway. Let's do it. Let's just go up a few packets here, and I can see the true response from the gateway. Here we go. So this is 2.1, and it's giving me that 3500. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click under sender's MAC address. So this is where the sender is alleging to be from. He's saying, hey, here's my MAC for this IP. I'm going to right click that. Only this time I'm going to say prepare as filter. And I'm going to say and not selected. Okay, let me just add that up. And I'm going to show you how this filter works up top. Okay, I want all ARPs that are coming from 2.1 or claiming to be 2.1. I want all ARPs that are just the replies. I don't care about the requests. And I want any of them. So I, those two things have to be met. And the ARP source hardware MAC address cannot be 3500. So show me anyone that's basically spoofing 2.1. Don't show me the real ones. Show me anyone that's trying to do an ARP poison for my gateway. All right, so let me go ahead and apply this. And there I see those spoofed MAC addresses. So this is a nice filter to have. Actually, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it down in the description below so you can copy it in your system and you can adjust it to meet whatever it is you need it to do as far as the MAC address of your gateway and the IP of your gateway. Just put those two values, your true gateway IP and your true gateway MAC address there in that part of the filter. And now you'll have the same filter for your environment. But before we do anything else, let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to come over to the plus button and I'm going to say, ARP poison attack. Okay, I'm gonna say all right. So now that's a save filter. If I ever leave Wireshark, come back, or if I'm looking at something on my network, I can just come up here and I can just click this. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and close out this capture and let's go ahead and start, just continue without saving. Let's go ahead and start a new capture, Ethernet. Let's test our filter to see if it worked. Okay, I'm gonna come up to ARP poison attack. Now imagine that I'm sitting in my NOC or I'm sitting somewhere where I'm monitoring the network. I have this running. I have it up in a corner somewhere. Uh, this is where I can see with this filter anyone that is acting as if they were the gateway, spoofing me. Uh, so this is a nice filter to have, especially if we want to capture someone doing an art poison. Now we may have another security monitoring tool that would catch this as well, but this is how we would capture an ARP poison attack with Wireshark. I hope this video was useful to you and that you like this kind of content. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, like, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys again on another video.